All right, so we are on our way to pick up our new boat. Um, so I had the Bayliner 175 and it was a great boat. We loved it. It was always cramped. And so we decided to get a bigger boat and we found a Four Winds 24 foot bow rider. And uh, it's worth about $25,000 approximately. And uh, we picked it for $5,000, um, great deal. Uh, but cosmetically, it's a little, it needs a little bit of work. So uh, we're gonna go, we already uh, looked at the boat a couple weeks ago, we left a deposit and uh, we're gonna go pick up our trailer now. We're gonna drive all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. Turn left to take the Interstate 95 South ramp towards St. Augustine. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> all the way from Jacksonville, Florida to Naples. Long drive, Tesla, gonna have some charging stops, um, but uh, we're gonna go pick up the boat and bring it back today. So uh, follow along. So reach the Tavares Marina cars over there yes. and it's our trailer she ran into some problems doesn't quite reach neither do the chains otherwise the trailer is great so harbor freight it is the rescue chains hooked up lights hooked up Let's see if they work Do it. Taking up a bunch of spots with the supercharger. But I've been watching out for people, ready to move if need be. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Reach the boat. For what? Pick up the boat. We're driving to the boat ramp. Uh, there's a bunch of water in here. Don't know where it's from, but hopefully we make it back home okay. Sunken boat. Bunch of water in the hold. Look at how huge that boat is compared to the car. Anyway, Harbor Freight to the rescue again. Turns out that the trailer didn't come with a safety chain for the boat and our winch broke. So we're gonna repair the winch right now and we're gonna attach the safety chain and also the post on this trailer is not in the right spot so we need to move it back all the way here so it touches the boat so we're, we're all secured and ready Milwaukee to go. tools to the rescue safety chain adjusted new strap strapped ready to go what do you know nothing ever goes as planned it's always an adventure with the boozer so charging cables barely reaching my trailer has decided that it does not want to come out I've tried coaxing it with a hammer tried coaxing it from WD-40 it just doesn't want to it doesn't want to detach from the ball it's all I'm stuck the good thing about doing this drive back at night is that the superchargers are empty so you can just pull up right along the stalls here you don't have to worry about unhitching the boat too much so while we're waiting let's go to the boat so as we can see the top is in tatters Stitching messed up there. Stitching messed up there. Needs a good cleaning. Needs a good wax. This is the outdoor shower. I don't know. This is like where they've wired up the bilge pump. Obviously, you can see this is jerry rigged, not how it's supposed to be. Um, ladder's good. All this just needs to be buffed out, polished. Our water goes in there. Overall, it's okay. It's just dirty. Dirty and it's just been sitting out in the sun for so long, probably for a year, times, you know, 10. Let's go inside. Look at that, walk through seating. The seat goes in there too, to make this an entire thing. Sink, works. Upholstery, terrible shape. I thought I was gonna be able to clean it up like this stuff and just clean this out. But um, man, most of the seats are torn. Like this is okay, right? Like I can clean this out and this will be fine. But obviously that can't, it's not gonna be fine. That's not gonna be fine. <laughs> this sure as heck is not gonna be fine. So we'll see. Strain wheel, just gonna get a new one. This 
will be fine. Uh, this is like a vinyl wrapped dashboard. This will be fine. I'll unscrew this and I'll see if this is actual wood. It looks like plastic. Yeah. Uh, these boats were not well made. Open the head. That little thing. Dropping down. Toilet. Stereo works, actually. Surprisingly. Stereo works. Oh, cool thing about this boat. Um, two cool things. Um, one, it comes with this little built-in table, which I don't have. The other cool thing, it's got a built-in igloo cooler space. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the actual cooler, but there's plenty of space in there, as you can see. But I'll try to find another cooler that fits into this exactly. And I got our fire extinguisher. This is where the compartment that's like full of water here. I like that this has got shocks and this stays up. This is very nice. Um, and, and when I say this boat was cheaply made, this was an expensive boat for its time. It's just that they put a lot of plastic pieces on these boats. And uh, unfortunately that combined with the fact that it's been out in the sun hasn't aged well. So at the end of this little thing uh, is, a, is a drain and it connects to the bilge. And when it goes to the bilge, uh, and the engine builds, that's where it's supposed to pump out. So that's blocked off. So all this water is collecting here. And unfortunately, I'm, gonna, I'm having to tow all this water, which isn't helping my fuel electric economy. More storage under these, underneath these seats. Now these seats are okay. I can sit on them. You can see like this is just mildew stains. This will all come out. <laughs> Bugs from the drive. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is just, this is all just cleaning. The front part of this whole thing is all just cleaning. You know, built-in grab handles, disgusting, but built-in cup holders, speakers working, anchor locker over here with the swim ladder. Very nice. Anchor drops in right there. Swim ladder extends out. You park at the beach, you park somewhere. You can board the boat from all sides. I think that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna work on right now is getting this thing down. I'm hoping this helps my fuel economy on the drive home. I'm just waiting for the charge anyway. Cruising along, 980 watt hours per mile, getting about one third the range. Normally the energy graph, it shows you like up and down, up and down, like how bad you're doing. We're doing so bad that it's just all orange. There's no up and down. But hey, we're just going from supercharger to supercharger to supercharger. Here we are again, blocking this poor guy in. Not really, he can go this way and then come out. But really, shouldn't be parking so close to the superchargers, huh? Anyway, we've been kind of supercharger hopping. I'm getting terrible range, one third. But I'm on the highway and I'm going highway speeds. I'm not really slowing down too much. If I slow down to like, I don't know, 55, 60 on the highway, I could probably get better range. But I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to be a sitting duck out on the highway. So we're doing this, this is our last stop. Um, gonna charge up to close to full here. That's the problem I'm having is um, the decision on like whether to charge up to full and then go further or charge up a little bit and then a little bit and then a little bit and take more stops. That's the faster way to go because at the end of the, at the top end of the battery charging, it slows down. Uh, this part's super fast and like the halfway, zero to 50, zero to 60, it's super fast. Um, you know, Tesla's are known for zero to 60s. Um, so the issue is, is this thing. Now it's like, how many times will I get lucky where I don't have to unhitch that trailer? Um, so I want to limit my supercharging spots. I, I pick ones that are, I check on the Tesla app and they don't have any, any tr cars charging. I specifically pick those. This one showed no cars charging. So I, that's why I came, but that stupid car's in the way. But uh, yeah, um, last stop, 
and then we're uh, we're home free. I am super tired though. Um, so I left the house at around eight o'clock and uh, all these shenanigans and stuff took way too long. Uh, I'm probably gonna get home at six o'clock. So it's this is like a 20 plus hour trip now. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a while. Made it home. It took like 22 hours, <laughs> a round trip, long trip, but home sweet home. So now next step is gonna be cleaning all this up and that'll be part of another video.